This, guys, is the unboxing of all unboxings, or at least I think so. I know it may come in a small box, but do not underestimate it. This thing has been speculated for some time now, and it's finally here. It is the new GPS multi-sport watch from Wahoo, the Wahoo Element Rival, and it has literally just dropped and is available today, and I'm about to unbox it for you. So straight out of the box and initial impressions before we delve on into the tech. And first off, well, it is incredibly light. And I don't mean in kind of like a cheap and fragile way. It feels really well made, just really, really light. It's also a really nice size and shape. It feels robust, it feels durable, but it's not overly chunky. They've really struck a nice balance between the two. We've also got this really nice metallic dial effect around the outside of the watch face. We've got these five nice buttons on the edge of that. And then on the underside you can see we've got the optical heart rate sensor in the center there and we've got the charging connection port on the side. You'll also be pleased to hear that I do in fact have three of these to give away today. Stay tuned until the end of the video so you can find out how you can get your hands on one of these in our giveaway. Before we continue though, I do have a little confession to make because this isn't actually the first time I've seen this watch. I've actually been really fortunate and been able to try out this watch for the past week or so and really get my head around its features and functions. And now it's time for us to get stuck into it. Now, anyone that has used Wahoo products before will know just how slick, how well designed, and how well made these products are. They just work, they're brilliant, and this is no different. In fact, when I first got this one out of the box and set it up, it literally took me one or two minutes. And in all honesty, I've barely changed anything since. And like I say, anyone that's used Wahoo products before will know exactly what I'm talking about here. Wahoo actually said that this product itself has been a number of years in the making. And the reason they haven't released it until now is because they wanted to wait until they felt they had built the right product. So let's delve into that and some of its features. So first off, it's got a number of preloaded profiles for the different disciplines in there. So we've got indoor swimming, pool swimming, outdoor swimming, indoor cycling, outdoor cycling, running, treadmill running, yoga, strength, and of course, triathlon. And this, guys, is the game-changing part. Wahoo have cleverly created an automated handover function between their Element Rival watch and their Element bike computers. So for instance, in a triathlon, you would be swimming and recording your swim through your Element Rival watch. As you exit the swim, it'll start to record your T1 time. As you approach your bike and your Element bike computer that will be mounted to it, it will detect that and automatically hand over without the single touch of a button. So all your information, your time will continue on your bike computer. You'll even see your T1 time pop up. Then of course, the opposite happens as you come into T2 and you hand over for the run. It all automatically start to appear on your watch. Then after the race, you can edit all of that within the Wahoo Element Companion app. You can merge, modify, split, whatever you wanna do. So yeah, pretty impressive stuff. And you can start to now understand why Wahoo have held off until now to release this. Well, moving on, and I'm not gonna bore you by running through every metric and function in this watch because we would be here all day, but I'm gonna pick out some of the more notable and interesting ones. Now, of course, we have got the usual distance, speed, and pace measurements with GPS outdoors for swimming, cycling, and running, but indoors for swimming, we can also actually track the distance and our length. We can customize the length of the pool within the watch. We also can track our stroke rate, 
and also a metric called SWOLF, which is basically our efficiency as a swimmer. It's quite an exciting measurement and it basically is the relationship between our stroke rate and our time over a set distance. For cycling, again, all the kind of usual things we'd expect as well as linking up to cadence sensors, power meters, and so on. It also has a feature which I haven't used, which is the live track function. Now, I just haven't chosen to bore anyone with my movements during exercise so far, but it's actually a really good idea. You can just do this simply within the app and just share your live track link with someone else and they can track where you are, which is a fantastic idea maybe for those epic challenges, but also for everyday training. For safety, you might want to share that with a loved one just so they know where you are. Then indoors, they do, of course, connect up with smart trainers. But as you'd expect, there's more functionality yet again between the Wahoo products. So you can actually control a Wahoo kicker through the Element Rival watch, which is quite impressive. Interestingly, though, for treadmill running, you can also track cadence, speed and distance whilst indoors on a treadmill through the watch, which is very impressive, meaning there's no need for an additional foot pod to do that for you. And of course, one of the big and important details of any sports watch, the battery life. And this has a whopping 14 day smartwatch battery life and a 24 hour GPS battery life. I think that's sufficient enough for most people out there. And in terms of charging, it actually comes with this rather snazzy docking device. So this can lie flat on the table and then this actually just neatly clips into it feels very nice. And then you can just lie that flat on your desk and whatnot, and then you just press this button here to release. Now, as I mentioned at the start of today's video, it is incredibly light, just 53 grams but as you've heard throughout today's video, it's got a ton of stuff in here. It packs a punch. And all of this is available for $379.99 or £349.99. And, and it's available today. However, if you want to get your hands on one of these for free, we have three up for grabs today to three lucky people, one for each, of course. If you want to get involved in this giveaway, just find the link in the description just down below. That will take you through to another web page where you'll be asked to answer a question about the watch. So let's hope you've been listening in today's video. Best of luck to you. You'd be very lucky if you get one of these. Well, I hope you have enjoyed today's video. If so, please do give it a like. And if you're not doing so already, don't forget to head on over to our GTN social media channels, give them a follow and give us a subscribe just down below.